Somewhat recently, I made a video about an electric scooter that I purchased and that I've been, actually I've been using it every day since I bought it, except for the days that it rains because obvious reasons. But I've found that using that has sort of inspired me to move more in the direction of electric transportation. I mean, I did pre-order a Tesla Model 3 and I'm still waiting for that. We've got a few more months before that happens, but I wanted to try something else. And so when I searched around online, I was looking back and forth between e-bikes and scooters and the most highly recommended scooter for adults in 2017 actually a few years old and it was on sale and the FedEx man just pulled up and as you can see it has arrived this is the Razor EcoSmart Metro electric scooter I think the retail price on this is about 400 bucks the same as the other scooter that I looked at this one was marked down to 368 I believe on Walmart's site and I think Amazon has it for that price as well this is an adult scooter it supposedly will go up to 18 and a half miles an hour it says up to 18 right there but it says 18.7 online it's got a luggage rack it's a whole lot bigger it should be a little bit more comfortable big padded seat and there's plenty of unboxing and setup videos for this so I'm gonna mainly just get it out put it together and show you what it's like and just a few minutes later I think I've got everything under packed so you do have a separated front wheel you've got the basket that goes on the back in case you want to haul things the seat itself the seat post it all comes together the back rack the luggage rack there the owner's manual and all the additional accessories the main portion of the scooter and the handle those do have to be assembled and hopefully here in about 10 minutes I'll have this all together cross our fingers and there you have it with a little bit of time a little bit of patience took a little longer than I expected it to I had a little bit of trouble getting the handlebars to go on appropriately kind of had to put it on here and then wiggle it there's also this little button here that needs to be depressed before you can actually put it on and it clicks its way out on the way out then you tighten it up everything else went together pretty easily it's just took a little bit of time and now according to the instructions I gotta plug it in for 12 hours. I have seen this mentioned a bunch of times. Here is where the on-off switch is, as well as the charging port. The charging port cover itself should just kind of swivel out of the way like that. Then you plug it in. It's just an, uh, it looks like an XLR plug. But yeah, time to say goodbye for 12 hours at least. Although I have heard from some people this can charge the first time in as little as about seven hours, so we'll see. And after clearing out a little bit of space for it, I have it on charge now. You can see the power brick here has a red light on it currently. When that turns green, it should be ready to go. And that can take, like I said, anywhere from seven to 12 hours for the first time. After that, it should only be four hours, I think. Most of the time, I'll just plug it in whenever I'm done riding and just let it charge itself back up. So we'll be right back. Well, that's only been uh, six and a half hours or so, but that light is green. So I'm gonna assume that we're charged. There's your first time. There's a whole lot more power. I've already been up and back a couple of times. Oh crap, this goes really fast. <laughs> Holy crap, it goes fast. Especially when you're going downhill. And you're a whole lot lighter than I am. Pretty sunset out, by the way. I'm gonna run into you. Super well, fun. That's really fun. It goes really fast. Yeah. And it's the next day. I've gone ahead and switched over to the GoPro. So I figure I'll go ahead and take this out for a quick first real ride. I took it around the block real quick last night, but this time I'm going to take it for a few miles. So we'll go ahead and come down here and we'll flip the on off switch. And then up here you can see power is 36 volts. And if you can tell full, the light is green. I kind of wish this had a better battery meter, but from what I understand, you can actually replace the three batteries that are in here. They're sealed lead acid batteries. You can put lithium batteries in here, 48 volts if you want. You can put a new controller and new a bunch of everything else if you really want to. By the way, this has sort of a grippiness to it, this little oval in the middle, kind of like grip tape on a skateboard. And actually I'm gonna check the pressure in the tires before I go too. So let's get started. After a quick, and I do mean quick, ride over to the park, I'm going to say that this needs a little bit of work. It gets a little bumpy at higher speeds. It's just a little bit of a rough ride. And I think something in and around the back area may need a bit of a tune-up just because the motor makes an awful lot of noise. There's a lot of squeaking and grinding sounds. But just comparing it to the other scooter I've already tested, much, much faster. 
and actually a whole lot more comfortable. The seat provides an awful lot of padding, and of course you've got some storage on there. So once I get this thing tuned up and ready to go, it's going to be an awful lot of fun and a really useful thing for quick trips to the store and hunting Pokemon and whatnot. But I'm going to get back to riding. And I've made it back successfully. I am still alive. I will admit I did ride on the road just a little bit on roads that are not heavily trafficked. The absolute top speed that I hit was 18 miles per hour and that's in large part due to just my weight. I am overweight so I'm working on that. But I was kind of surprised whenever I was going up hills the lowest that I saw it go with the throttle pegged was 12 miles per hour. I just had my phone mounted up here with a speedometer app running on it and even after going a couple of miles it still shows me as full. So just very early impressions of it. I'm really impressed. However, there's an awful lot of squeaking going on with this end. Something to do with either the brakes or the motor, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out what's going on back here. But just to reiterate, after a couple of small rides on it, I am a big fan of this thing. For 350, 360 bucks plus tax, to have it shipped to your door completely free, I am a big fan of it. And the addition of the fact that you can technically take this apart and replace all the parts on it to sort of grow with you, I really like that. But I think I'm not gonna be doing that. I think if I wanna move up to something faster, I'm probably going to move into an e-bike and that will probably be in the spring. So if you have any recommendations, I'm specifically looking in the folding electric bike market, pedal assist, possibly a throttle as well. I was looking at the Velano bikes. They're on Amazon. I'll put links to them down below. So let me know what you think about those. And again, let me know what you think about this Razor EcoSmart. I am definitely a big fan of it and it's a lot of fun. So wear a helmet also. I didn't do that today and I should have. But anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. If you like these electric modes of transportation videos that I'm doing, sounds like there's somebody mowing the yard right outside, but I'll see you again next time.